In this how-to video, we will look at the steps involved with setting up an out-of-office configuration in K2 on behalf of another user by using the K2 management site. Within the management site, you will open up the Users menu group on the left side and select Out of Office. To demonstrate adding an out of office configuration for a user, I'm going to configure Kirsten's out of office setting to delegate all tasks to Matthew, along with one exception while she's gone. Let's add a new out of office entry to the list by clicking on the Add button. Then on the Add out of office user screen, I'll choose a user by going into that option here at the top. You have the option to search for an account in the search box here at the top of the window. When you do this, you will enter in the account name and click the search icon on the right. Also, if you don't see the account in the search results, be sure to click the More link and make sure that the label is set to the proper security label you need. On my screen, I'm just going to select Kirsten's account from the recent list to make it easier. Back on the Out of Office user screen, notice that Kirsten is displayed as the user for whom we are creating the configuration. Now we will add Matthew as the recipient of Kirsten's redirected tasks. Notice that the forward to and exception areas are displayed. Select the plus icon button in the forward to section. Then use this window to search for your user in the same fashion as we just did for Kirsten's account. Or if the user account appears in the recent list, you can select it from there. I'll just select Matthew's account since it appears there now. At this point in time, all tasks assigned to Kirsten will go to Matthew when this out of office setting is enabled. However, let's also set up an exception so that all of Kirsten's tasks go to Matthew except for leave request approval tasks. In this case, we want those task assignments to be shared with Mike. I'll select the plus icon button for exceptions. Then in the add out of office exception window that pops up, let's name this exception leave request approval tasks. I'm going to search for the workflow called leave request in this environment and then add it into the process field. Upon making that change, I want to search for the leave request approval activity to populate the activity field. And that looks good. We want that specific task from this workflow to go to Mike. Next, for users, I'll click the plus icon for destinations and look up Mike's account. I'll go ahead and select that and then go back a screen. At this point in time, we've set up an out of office exception to share leave request approval tasks that Kirsten receives with Mike. I'll save that. So quickly in review, Kirsten's out of office configuration now shares all of her task assignments except for the leave request approval tasks with Matthew, whereas only the leave request approval tasks will be shared with Mike. Know that you can add other exceptions for other workflow activities as needed here. In the upper left of the window, you can change the user status to out of office if you need to, or leave it set to in the office, which I'll do for the moment. In doing this, I'm still creating an out-of-office entry for Kirsten's account that is configured to send tasks to Matthew and Mike. The entry will be there for later and I can come back and enable it quickly rather than reconfiguring a brand new entry every time this user is out of the office. I'll save it and show you how that works. Notice the out-of-office box is not checked for Kirsten, but there is an entry for the account. You can actually enable the setting for Kirsten quickly here by putting a check in the out of office box, then selecting the save button from the menu here. Because it exists in the system now, Kirsten will also be able to see this setting if she needs to make changes to her own out of office configuration.